we talked to the transgender inmate who says he was sexually assaulted multiple times by a correction officer at the Gwinnett County Jail. The deputy accused in this crime was arrested and fired. Channel 2's Rachel Stockman reports why taxpayers could now be on the hook for what happened. The Grant County Sheriff's Office arrested one of its own, Deputy Dwan Clark, for sexually assaulting an inmate. I talked to that former inmate by phone who asked not to be identified. He says the assaults happened repeatedly for about a month. This was done in my room or in the shower. There was nothing done in front of a lot of inmates. The alleged victim, who considers himself transgender, was just released from prison after serving time for financial fraud. The alleged incident happened last year. My client just wasn't going to tolerate being abused. The inmate and his attorney, Jeff Sliz, are now suing Sheriff Butch Conway and the county, claiming that the jail could have taken steps like monitoring surveillance cameras and assigning an additional officer to his cell pod. When the guard confronted him and my client said he wasn't interested in doing what he wanted him to do, he told him that, well, this was his pod and he'd do what he told him to. The lawsuit also claims the county knew or should have known that transgender inmates are at a greater risk of sexual assault by detention officers. I had no choice. I had no choice in the matter. Except when I did say something about it, you know, the comment that was made of, that was made were, you have to do everything that the officer tells you to do. The inmate says he was able to preserve physical evidence that led to the detention officer being arrested. Someone should be held responsible. A lot of people should be held responsible. The Gwinnett County Sheriff's Office says they did take immediate action upon learning about the allegations against the deputy. They say, though, they cannot comment specifically on this lawsuit because it is pending litigation. I have not been able to get in touch with the former deputy. Reporting in Gwinnett County, Rachel Stockman,